Welcome to Casual Throw. Uh, today it's my pleasure to review another Diffio Yo-Yo. This one is the 2020 Back to Basics Tank. So this is a polished aluminum yo-yo. Uh, it's an unresponsive throw. Uh, you can purchase these on uh, eBay. I've seen them. I think they're $37.50 on eBay. So I think some of the you know key information about this, uh, a little bit of background. So I, I uh, emailed Frank DeFeo to just get a little bit more information as to what exactly this was and how it was different from the original uh, tank that came out like 17 years ago. So bear with me, I'm gonna read a part of the email that he sent me. He says, uh, these tanks, are a revision that he did in 2004 of the original 2003 tanks. Uh, the revision is that they have a bearing seat, whereas the original uh, 2003 original tanks had only the set screw axle that the bearing sat on to center the yo-yo halves. And historically in the beginning, uh, I didn't anodize my player models. I just polished or sat and finished them and put my Diffio Dome stickers on them. About a year later, I decided to engrave the Diff logo on while the parts were still in the machine instead of using those stickers. But these BTB Back to Basics tanks are from a batch that I made in 2004 that I decided to anodize. But I got busy with other orders back then and they went back on the back burner and were forgotten. And I also did not put the engraved Diff logo on them because the whole Diffio logo was to be laser engraved after anodizing. So when I dug out these yo-yo halves after all these years, instead of doing all the extra work and cost involved in an for anodizing and uh, lasering, I polished them beautifully, I'm adding, and put my Diffio dome stickers on them. So hence the Diffio BTB uh, tank back to basics. So I think that's something myself and some others on, you know, the Yo-Yo Expert forums and whatnot were wondering is what exactly was the difference here between the tanks? Are these newly machined? Are these older that were, you know, dug up, whatever? So there's a little bit of the background on where this Yo-Yo came from. Okay, so the uh, diameter on this yo-yo, I'm going to be comparing it quite a bit to the, the Juggernaut, which they are very similar in a lot of ways, but uh, there are some key differences. So it's a, it has a little bit more to the uh, diameter than the Juggernaut. It is 53.975 millimeters, so it's right about you know 54 millimeters. The width, it's a tad narrower than the Juggernaut uh, at just over 38, like 38.1 millimeters. Uh, the weight is actually, uh, if, it, if it's naked, as I'm calling it, without these, these rubber weight rings that easily go in and out, uh, the weight is the same as the Juggernaut. It's 67 grams. So it's, it's got some heft to it. And when you include the uh, weight rings, which, like I said, they come out and go back in, super easy uh let's fit right in there you can see like that rim there that's where they sit uh i don't know where i was going with that there's 75 grams with both weight rings so each one adds roughly four grams of weight to it all right so the gap width i'm not 100 percent sure i wasn't able to find that and i forgot to ask frank but it looks like it's very comparable uh, to the tank. It's tough to get down, you know, to fractions of a millimeter, which the, uh, I'm sorry, the juggernaut, the juggernaut's about four and a half millimeters. And I would say this is about the same, if not a little bit more, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. So it's not obviously hugely uh, different in terms of just, you know, the naked eye. All right. So go ahead and open it up. Guts. It's got the flush diff pads, which are really good overall. Uh, this axle does screw out it's a nice decent size one that if you drop it unlike some other you know more recent yo-yos that have come out with the teeny tiny axles that one's easier to find it's got the patented concave bearing in it which i believe yeah it comes out pretty easily it's not one of those that you need a tool to get it out so it is overall a beautifully machine yo-yo i mean much like the uh 
juggernaut, but I mean, it's even more apparent because, you know, you don't have the Anno on there and you can see all the beautiful machine work on this. All right, so when you buy the Diffio BTB tank, it comes in one of these here tins and you can see it's got some stickers on, on the outside, give you a little bit of information about it, some pretty basic stuff, you know, specs, whatnot. Then you open it, it has the, the it's a covered tin, it's not like the clear plastic one like the Juggernaut came in, but I mean, and it doesn't have, let's see, it has like, it came wrapped in paper, protected so it doesn't jiggle around in there, and then uh, some extra diff pads, I used one on some uh, on my uh, Juggernaut, and then a, looks like a polyester string, so pretty good setup, and then uh, they all come with, you know, the Diffio card and a nice little thank you from Frank for supporting his fine business. All right, so spin time on the tank is really, really good. I'm not going to put it at the same level as the Juggernaut, which spins forever, uh, but the tank isn't too far behind it. And I'm going to say that both that uh, and the stability in particular, I'm going to move into that, uh, the tank is a bit more stable than, I'm sorry, the Juggernaut is a bit more stable than the tank. Uh, a lot more of the weight seems to be pushed out to the rims here on the uh, Juggernaut, and I think that helps uh, with its overall power in a lot of ways and with the stability. By no means is the, the tank an inherently like super unstable yo-yo or anything, but I just can't help but compare uh, the two. And I would say in spin time, slight edge, juggernaut but still really good and the uh you know the stability is you know i do think this is a little bit more center weighted and you do have i mean i'm not going to call them high walls but i look at this and i seem to notice that the gap on the, the juggernaut is a little more opened up and things stay a little bit tighter uh you know as you move to the outside with the uh the tank so I think that's a key there in a comparison, you know, in terms of the stability. Uh, the response, and again, I'm going to give a slight edge to the Juggernaut, uh, whereas that's been almost perfect in terms of not snagging and I'm not, not having much in the way of slipping issues when trying to bind. Uh, it's not a major issue with this, but I do make sure I use a th thicker zip line uh, when using the, uh, the Yo-Yo because uh, I do have some, I would say, mild slipping issues with this and i have all along i mean it may be time for me to replace the diff pads but even before you know for a little while here it's been you know sometimes if i'm not careful there'll be some slipping issues but it's not a major problem in the hand uh they're very similar uh feeling they got that you know you you know you're holding a diffio yo yo it's, it's solid, it, it, it's very snug in the hand since it is, you know, right around that 54 uh, millimeter size. And uh, I mean, certainly the, the, the texture is different because this has that, you know, hard coat anodization, which makes it a juggernaut of sorts. And this is raw, so it definitely does have a, a different feel to it. Uh, and then the last thing I want to mention before I go throw it around is while this is, uh, again, a slight edge uh, for grinds, whether it is the thumb grinds or, you know, you're doing like a finger down the arm, whatever grind, slight edge here, but this is no slouch when it comes to that either. either. So uh, great job with the polishing and it will just slide along and not kill the spin too badly. So, you know, I'm comparing these a lot, but this is, you know, 3750. This is like 60. So that's a big part of the reason why there's, you know, just slight step up, step, a slight step up, slight step up in this regard. So gone on long enough, string this up, go throw it around. I'll do the weight rings and then I'll take them off. Okay. Got the weight rings in there. You see plenty of uh, spin time there. I mean, and it's 75 grams with both the rings in. 
you know, it's a fairly heavy yo-yo and you feel it, but it's just interesting because it's just, the weight distribution and all that stuff is so good that it doesn't feel like that rock on the end of the string. So, I mean, overall, I mean, this is such a solid. One of the things I've noticed is that the uh, slipping with the response that I mentioned before seems to be a little bit more prominent with the weight rings in. Uh, not a major issue, not common really, but uh, I think there's a little bit less of that happening when I take the weight rings out. So, still got them in for now. Takes on extra layers of string just fine. All right, weight rings, like I said, come out really easy, go back in just as easy. And it's fun to play it for a bit with the rings on and then take them off and play with it more. It's eight grams difference, but it just feels like an entirely different yo-yo. And certainly one of the things when you take out, you notice there's a fairly good thumb grind lip. It's not as prominent where you have, you know, a little bit of an overhang where on the, you know, the juggernaut, it's super easy because that little you know, lip that hangs out. This is, you know, it kind of goes in pretty straight and you do have a little bit of a lip there where these guys sit. I mean, right? it's super doable. Like I said, I mean, it feels like an entirely different yo-yo with those eight grams taken off. little slip but it happens last but not least it's a pretty smooth yo-yo overall uh, nothing on the string tiniest bit of fingernail vibe but nothing too bad so all right that about wraps it up for the uh, diffio tank i like this yo-yo a lot if i really had to choose between this and the juggernaut you know just one from my collection it'd probably be the juggernaut uh, just because it does what this does just a little bit better in terms of spin time, stability, uh, all that sort of stuff. Uh, but one of the, that's kind of reflected in the 20 or so dollar price difference between the two. So for under $40, this is a really good deal. And one of the things I like about it is that you kind of get two throws in one when you get it, or it feels entirely different when you have the weight rings in versus weight rings out. I often, when I pick it up, I always, not even often, always. I'll play it for a little bit with the weight rings in, then I take them out, and then it feels different, and then I can, you know, do some different stuff like, you know, thumb grinds and thumb grinds and whatnot. So, think about getting it. I don't think you would regret it if you take the plunge. Uh, it certainly has that throwback feel. After all, it is a yo-yo from 2004. But I would say performance-wise, it is in the same league as modern yo-yos. Uh, you know, it's, I would put it up against a lot of mine and it would be not far off, especially, you know, when you're talking, you know, about, you know, organics like this, a little bit on the slim line side, slightly higher walls. Really, it is a throwback with roughly modern performance. All right. So that's it. Uh, if you, uh, enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit like. If you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you did that. Thank you for watching.